We know what's needed. We've been told thousands of times. For example, back in the 1960s, the Beatles sang it. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. We've got plenty of the other stuff. We haven't got enough love. What's the opposite to love? Fear. Different degrees of fear. We live today almost as if it were back in the Stone Age days when our tribe is the tribe we look after and to hell with the rest. They are the opposition, they are the enemy. Back in the 19th century, the 20th century, and even into this century, it's my nation right or wrong. This is the way most of us look at it. This is the way our political leaders, our so-called statesmen look at it. I remember John F. Kennedy's inaugural address. Ask not for what your nation can do for you, ask what you can do for your nation. And at that time, the thought which went through my head is, here, here we have a world leader, a man who could be a world leader, thinking only of his nation. Now that was his duty. His duty as President of the United States is to look after the United States. The most powerful person in the world should be, in my opinion, the President of the United Nations or a similar body. But no, we still have nations. We still have tribes. We still have little groups. And we get down to narrow and narrow amounts to my city, my suburb, my street, my family, myself. We seem to find it very, very difficult to get beyond this I'm in competition with the rest of the world to some degree. We know that most people are good. We are. Most of us are good. Perhaps 5% are the troublemakers. In some ways, they're the, the part of humanity who hasn't grown up yet. Still little kids. You find them in all sorts of trouble. But 95% of people are trustworthy. will look after you if they can so long as it doesn't put them in trouble, which is fair enough. What the world needs now is more love, more trust, more outgoing, more generosity. As we do away with fear, we come out of that and we get into something far, far greater. The involvement of our real self the evolvement of our real self as human beings. We're headed that way. I'm an optimist. I think that we've moved ahead a great deal, even in the time since I was born. We're moving towards something pretty splendid for the human race. Are we moving towards it quickly enough? That's the thing. We know that the world population is the, big prop, is the big problem in the world. Probably too many people. Whether that will stabilise down over the years to a more sustainable world population, who knows. The point is this. Love is what's required. First of all, we need to accept ourselves, each of us individually. We need to love ourselves. We can only give away what we've got. When we love ourselves, 
These are the gifts. This is the gift that we can give to others. Love. Love, it said, is all there is. Everything else is an illusion. If it is an illusion, and I believe it is, it's still an illusion that we feel and experience. We experience fear. We must get beyond that to become more and more loving. And then we will become what we truly and really are deep down. A loving God. Each of us being a part of the whole. 